check out FIFA Coin Traders for the only site which is automated coins. Uh, they are fast, cheap, and reliable, so go ahead and check them out. Hello and welcome to a Nation of Expert Gaming videos. Today we have got Team of the Season Rio Ferdinand as our review. So I am very sorry that unfortunately I didn't seem to uh, record like the team uh, in like like what I normally do, which is really annoying because normally I do that. This is the first time that I've actually forgot to do this, but um, I guess you just have to kind of sit through the start of this match. Uh, as you see, he's got a good team there, quite a solid team, some informs going on. Uh, Robin, uh, Royce, closer in form, Podolski, all the decent players there. And yeah, so the team we've got him in is pretty much the team if you've seen any of my team of the season, uh, Barclays Premier anyway, if you've ever seen any of them reviews, I've done quite a few already. Um, it is literally the same team apart from I've took out Kabul and uh, replaced it with team of the season, Rio Ferdinand. So the team is uh, De Gea in net, left back Normal Baines, uh, David Luiz and Rio Ferdinand in there. Then I've got right back, I've got Walker, uh, two centre defensive mids, I've got Ramirez and Fellaini. Uh, Cams, I've got Santi Gazzola and Wilshire. Centre forward, is it centre forwards? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, centre forward, I've got Suarez, as you'll see here in fact. And then striker, I've got Morales. So it's still the exact same team. So moving over to the review for Rio Ferdinand, you can get him, picked him up for about 160k. Uh, probably gone up or down depending on what happens after team of the season BBVA is up or whenever the other team of the seasons are up as well and this one's out. So um, I've given him an 8.7, I will be justifying that during the review. Looking at his stats, 68 pace, not the best in the world but defenders, uh, centre backs especially, are not meant to really have a huge amount of pace. Um, it is one of them things that really uh, centre backs uh, suffer from as they are quite, they're normally quite tall. You get the occasional um, kind of maybe like 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11, but mainly a lot of them are 6 foot something, so you kind of got to suffer with the pace there. Then again, his uh, passing 78, his dribbling 69, and his shooting 53. All kind of ir irrelevant. Passing probably the most relevant out of them three, um, and it's not too bad, it's near the 80s. His uh, heading is 87, which is absolute beast for his stature. He does win quite a few headers um, in whenever you're in the box or just defending in general. He is one of them players that will win them interceptions and them headers. And uh, overall, just quite a tactical defender. Um, with the 80 passing, does really well to get the ball out very quickly. So that is something that's definitely good about him. Uh, and then he's got his 91 defending, which is absolutely outstanding. I'm currently just... Uh, trying to load up his at his like in-game stats for you. But what did I like about him? I liked his interceptions, his his tackling in general. Um, I always found him quite a decent player overall. I think the only letdown for him is definitely his pace. Um, I think that is the big thing that lets him down. But that that's kind of like um, quite a lot of um, defenders more than anything. It's uh, not just Rio Fernand. But overall, I thought he was a very solid defender. He's got 99 stats in standing tackling. Uh, has he got any more 99s? No, he's got a load of 80s. Um, sliding tackle was 86, marking 96, positioning, oh, that's 32. Interceptions, 96, aggression, 92, heading, 93, strength, 91, reaction, 91. So you can see there, really good in-game stats as well. So you can't really com uh, complain with him. I just found him as a better kind of interceptor slash uh, slash like a kind of last man. Well, actually not last man, I mean uh, go towards the ball defender. As you see here, I, I come off here and then I just wait for him to knock that ball in. And as soon as he goes to that ball, he's headed it away. That is what I found with him. And that is why I've given him an 8.7. I found that kind of his speed lacks his kind of, that knocks his rating down a load. If he had decent speed, he would definitely be like a 9.5. Um, he is a very, very solid defender. And overall, just a very good uh, player to play with. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like. And I'll see you all again soon.